Hello everybody, thank you for visiting my channel Crypto Explorer. Um, just want to make a quick video about mining pools. Um, there has been a lot of questions about uh, mining in the comments and I figured it'd probably be easier to make a, a video uh, to help those who are wondering how mining works. Um, but first I just want to say, uh, wow, thank you for all the subscribers. Um, didn't expect to get this many subscribers um, in such a short period of time. So um, thank you for subscribing. Uh, we're at over 900 right now. So let's get on to mining. Let's go here. So I made a video about mining on this um, pool uh, for Electronium. And there seems to be a, a lot of new folks into mining, so um, I just wanted to kind of uh, help help folks out on how to kind of de decipher all this um, when when you're mining um, electronium. This kind of applies to any other type of uh, cryptocurrency you're mining um, in a pool. So here we are. This is. Um, uh, electronium um, dot space pool and here we see um, the network stats for this pool compared to the overall electronium network um, th this is the pool's hash rate meaning the computational power that everyone in the pool is um, currently hashing right now um, this is uh, when the last block was found how many miners are connected the pool fee, meaning how much uh, percentage the pool gets, um, the the pool operator will get out of um, uh, whatever is mined by everyone in the pool. And then an estimated time of how often a block is found. Um, this is the overall network and how it compares. Now, the only diff difficulty stat, uh, the difference is there's a difficulty stat as as more and more is mined the difficulty gets harder and harder and the current blockchain height meaning um, in terms of transactions um, and then the last reward um, that was uh, that was found so um, let's see let's go down to you know a lot of folks are wondering hey I've been mining for a long time I got nothing. So in here is basically um, your stats. So this is my stats. You look it up. Um, and then, as you can see, um, when we started mining in the pool, the rewards were pretty high. And then it gets lower and lower. And sometimes it gets, it's, it's a lot lower now because it's a lot more difficult. So the hash rate. Let's go over here, the hash rate. So everyone who's mining in a pool basically submits a hash rate. Um, my current hash rate is at 436 hashes a second. Um, it, basically a hash is the output of a hash function. And then the hash rate is the speed at which um, it computes in completing the operation. Um, the higher the hash rate, the better when mining as it increases your opportunity of finding the next block and receiving the reward. So the, this hash rate allows me to submit this many hashes. The, the, the better your mining equipment or CPU or processor, uh, the more hashes you can uh, submit. For for example, my, my um, graphics card roughly does about 300 uh, hashes per second while my CPU does about I think 70 around 70 per second so let's just go over here because basically this is your wallet address where you where it's uh, paying uh, you and electronium how much you have pending meaning after the last block uh, after um, uh, whenever it finds a, a block and um, Depending on how much you contributed to the pool, this is what you're get gonna get, and I'll get more to that later. Uh, total paid, how many electronium in this case that the um, 
I've got uh, to date for being part of this pool. And then last share submitted is when is the last time uh, my mining mining equipment uh, sent in a share to the pool. I'm gonna put over here and then I'll just refresh it because I actually stopped a couple of my miners to do this. And then my current hash rate, which is 360 right now. And then the total, like I said, how many hashes. So when a lot of people are uh, asking why, hey, I, I, t I um, submitted a lot of hashes. Why haven't I received anything yet? So basically the way mining works in a pool, um, this, this amount, this is um, basically uh, the amount of hashes you've cont contributed to the network to solving a block. So every mining pool will, will have slightly different rules. Uh, but generally speaking, they pay you for the amount of shares you've submitted, and they do a formula involving the difficulty of those shares. So depending on the difficulty of the shares uh, versus the rest of the pool, and then it, they determine the percentage of contribution. Then once they get their percentage, which in this pool is 0.5%, uh, um, the remainder is what you'll get from the block reward. So uh, depending what was the last block reward, and here it was 7,895 electronium, um, your share, is, that block reward is split among all the miners over here after it's all been calculated. So um, difficulty depends. Like over here, um, if you look in the getting started, um, if you have, if you don't, in, in, in a way, um, to, to help those without, really powerful mining rigs. Um, the pool sets up different um, difficulty uh, ports. So um, basically it gives you a chance to participate in the pool if you have hardware that is not able to do um, uh, these uh, calculations. Um, so for instance, you have like a dual core processor and you're trying to CPU mine. Um, you might want to go with a lower difficulty. So in the electronium.space pool, it's kind of nice. They have multiple levels of difficulty. And they, they, they show, um, um, they give you a, a description in here. Like potato har hardware means uh, you're trying to mine from really old hardware or um, low-powered CPUs, then you would use this. And then as it goes higher and higher, like um, I I have my um, if I do CPU mining with a i5 processor an Intel i5, I I would go for this port. Um, if you're doing a GPU uh, mining um, with uh, the the higher GPUs, um, like right now I'm using a 10 I have a 1050 NVIDIA 1050 Ti. Um, I'm actually mining on on uh, 555, but I, I guess you could possibly mine on 777. And then the really probably dedicated miners, um, actual dedicated mining hardware, um, you'd probably be mining on 999. If you have a, if you have a, uh, a, a NVIDIA uh, 1080 Ti, maybe on this port, but. Or this one, I, I'm not too sure. You, would, the best thing for you to do is try it and and see your results in terms of how many, um, in terms of uh, how it's performing. So, based on, so really, you know, if you're not receiving uh, any electronium or dip, or whatever uh, payment mining uh whatever uh coin you're mining it it really depends a lot um on how the formula is calculated you know um and the difficulty of what you're um contributing to the network if you are if you are submitting a tons of shares but the shares that you're submitting is um not is uh is um, at a lower difficulty, the your your share obviously of whatever block reward that is coming is 
is uh, not going to be as high as those who are submitting shares on uh, uh, with a higher difficulty. So the way also block reward works, um, some people will think, oh, we found a block. Why haven't I got gotten paid? So uh, when a full pool uh, finds a block, uh, you have to wait for it to mature. So block maturity depends on the block time and maturity depth. For example, if the block time is about two minutes and the maturity depth is 60, then it'll take about two hours for that block to mature. Once uh, the block is mature, then it be available for spending. So um, that's why sometimes when you see that there's a, a block found and, or it, uh, a, the pool found a block and it has not been paid out yet, you see over here, and this uh, uh, pool block stats. So these ones have already matured, and that's why they're green, but these ones um, haven't. So we're just waiting for it. It was found at this time, and it has 18 more to go. I'm not too sure what's the, uh, the block time for Electronium, but um, that's basically what we're waiting for, for it to mature. Once it can mature, then they'll pay out. And then you can see how they paid it out. In this pool, you can see we, we got this, and it paid out to 19 different people, 34, 47. It really depends who contributed the hashes to that block. Anyway, um, this is mainly a, just an overview. It's not really too technical. I just tried to make it as um, easy to understand, hopefully. If not, I'm, I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> but hopefully it's easier to understand um, on for those who are new to mining um, and, uh, and uh, kind of wondering why. So this, this does not, I think a lot of misconception is that people are thinking this equals somehow to electronium. No, um, it, it really depends on the difficulty, the, the, the amount of uh, miners that contributed, and um, um, in addition to how many hashes you've submitted. And then and also, what was the block reward at that time? So anyway, hope this helps. Um, thanks for watching.